Hey guys, and a welcome back to another vlog. So for this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys productive days in my life. We have going to a cafe, working, going all the way to Manila to buy my oath-taking ticket, going on a date, and of course my oath-taking ceremony, which you guys will see at the end of the video. So right now I'm actually in a cafe with my little sister and her best friend, and I'm currently watching over them at the same time getting some work done because I am working on a secret project for all of my nursing students out there. Just stay tuned for that. This cafe had a lovely selection of drinks and food. I got myself an iced caramel macchiato and cheesy fries. Of course, you cannot go wrong with cheesy fries. I give both of these things a 10 out of 10. It was lovely in the service as well. I can't say anything about it. It was perfect. Okay, hi guys. Hi. Hello, my mga bagong friends. Hey, <laughs> on. Hello. Hello. This is Lizette and Rob. <laughs> New friends. <laughs> Hey guys, I am currently barefaced, but tonight I'm preparing all of the requirements that I need to buy my oath taking ticket tomorrow. So, guys, it's been a while since I gave you a nursing update, pero I'll be having my oath taking on Sunday, January 22. I don't know what time yet, but yeah, it's so exciting. So, basically, this is the first step that needs to be done before I can. Um, register for my license like my actual nursing license, which is super exciting you guys we are finally moving on to the next step um, But I did write down a couple of requirements So I'm just going to list it out for you guys just in case Some of you are watching that are also going to be preparing this year So just so you know oath taking requirements or notes So we're going to need our printed oath form which I need to do in just a minute um, the ticket, like the actual ticket for the oath is 800 and then if you want like the package to get photos, it's 600 Like so that's 800 plus 600, so the total that I will be paying is 1-4. The photos are optional apparently, but um, I think we're going to have to take that package because we're not allowed to bring guests into the venue. So it's really just going to be all nursing students, no parents, nothing. Like you can't bring guests. I mean, they can't be inside while the ceremony is ongoing. I think it's like a health hazard thing. For the attire, we are going to be wearing either our gala uniform or clinical uniform. And I personally think I'm going to wear my clinical because my gala, like the gala uniform buttons all the way up here. And girl, I cannot breathe when I'm wearing that uniform. So I think I'll be using my clinical which I need to prepare and see if like if there's any damages or anything I need to wash them uh, white stockings and white heels I'll be wearing white heels instead of my duty shoes but I like middle classy uh, so yeah that is what I'll be doing tomorrow actually says I don't want to crash go we're going to purchase my ticket first and then we're going to go on a date so it's an errand date tomorrow I'm excited I need to prepare my things um, and then prepare my outfit because I want to look cute.
Kathy. At Kathy. Yung mga new friends ko. <laughs> Hello. Subscribe kayo sa channel nila. <laughs> home and actually I have a papa si crushy but I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Uniqlo he bought it for me the Uniqlo dumpling bag in navy blue I am obsessed you know I was supposed to get the cream one originally but I mentioned the dumihin and then I was supposed to get black but I was like it's just a little too plain like I want color but I don't want a boring one. This is basically going to be my errands bag because I usually have, I have two bags, okay? But they're both like a little too formal, a little too fancy for like everyday errands, you know, going to the grocery store, you know, picking up some papers or stuff like that. And then I also have a couple bags from Shein, but they're like bad quality now. Like they didn't last long. So I was finally able to get my hands on the dumpling bag. Hey you guys, it is currently Thursday and what you're seeing right here is a speech that I put together, recorded and edited um, for National University Manila Department of Nursing. They invited me to give a motivational speech for those who are going to be taking the board exam this 2023. So yeah, it's a pretty short speech, about seven minutes, but I was really happy to put this together and I love it when you guys invite me to give speeches or short talks for nursing students because I just love being able to share my knowledge and wisdom with you guys. So if you guys, you know, if y'all ever need a speaker for your school regarding nursing school or nursing students, I'm your girl. Sorry I'm not the person I used to be. I'm a southern tragedy. Come on down to Florida. Night with me. Um, good morning, you guys. <laughs> Today's the day. It is January 22, Sunday, 7:30 right now, I think, and I'm getting ready for my face-to-face -face oath taking. Okay, so right now I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to go skin tint or foundation. Since we're gonna be wearing masks inside, I think it's safer to go skin tint because if ever I need to take it off. It probably won't be as cakey compared to if I use foundation. Plus, I always use skin tint anyways, and I just want to make it look natural. Not too much going on. I'm just going to do the same regular makeup that I've been doing for the past few days. I have to be there at 10. Okay, hold on, hold on. That um, context. Our oath taking ceremony starts at 12, but we need to be there two hours early because they need to like scan our QR codes, check our attendance, stuff like that, I think. The May 2022 batch had to have like an e-oath taking, but we're finally able to have face-to-face, -face, so I'm very, very excited for that. At the same time, I'm kind of bummed because we're not allowed to bring anyone, like your parents can't come inside, no one can come inside with you, so there's no one to like take pictures, no one's gonna be there with you, it's just all nursing students, I believe. So that's the only part that kind of sucks because of course we want to share this moment with our family and our friends but my parents are going to have to wait outside of PICC. So how are you guys? What is going on? Actually, I've been meaning to say that I appreciate all of the comments that you guys have been leaving on my channel lately. I am so happy when I read your comments. And so if you guys ever feel like you want to share anything, anything at all, it doesn't even have to be related to the video that I post. If you want to, oh, why did I do that? If you want to share anything 
nursing related college related school related any problems you want to get off of your shoulders i'm here to listen honestly i really love reading and responding to your comments i feel like we have grown stronger as a nursing student community so i'm really i'm really happy to see you guys comment you know what's going on how you're doing in terms of like using the tips that i've been giving you guys a lot of you guys have actually been telling me that you already do some of the tips that i mentioned so i love hearing that because it means they're effective you know what i mean okay we're looking good we're looking good almost forgot hair net okay not bad not bad at all i think i'll put this on later in the car so i'll just have to bring this and my bobby pins okay this is not the best lighting but we're ready i have my uniform on i have my white shoes on i need to bring this cap we're gonna put that on when I get to the venue because I don't want to mess up my hair and now I'm going to switch to my phone to vlog because I don't want to bring my camera it's just going to be way too awkward to vlog while everyone's, you know, during the ceremony I, I can't do it, okay? so I'm just going to vlog on my phone I will see you guys in the car Authorized nurse practitioner. So help me God. So help me God. 